Hey everybody, it's Jeff, and I'm starting a new weekly uh, series here called Top Toner Auctions to Watch. And uh, if you love tone coins, I'm constantly combing through all the auctions. And my thinking was I was going to pull out the five best toners, in my opinion, that are ending this week. And, and most of the time, it'll be at Great Collections. Some of the times, it'll be at Heritage or Legend or some of the other auction sites as well. Um, but of course, Great Collections settling every Sunday makes it a little easier on a weekly installment basis. And not only am I going to provide just simply the auctions, the links will be in the description below. Uh, I'm going to provide comps, uh, past sales, and my estimate of where they're going to sell at. So as you can see, these are the five. Let's jump into the first one here. This is a really nice uh, proof three cent nickel. Not the most popular, uh, but in my opinion, it's an undervalued series. And this, of all the ones you could buy, is an extremely nice version. Now, this particular coin has traded hands twice in the last two years or three years. As you can see, it traded uh, March of 2019 for $1,800 and then again in January of 2020 for $1,680. Uh, great collections, if you look in the bottom right, has an opening bid of $1,750. So uh, the seller is certainly asking for a, a profit on their investment, uh, but it's not an unreasonable one because now the PCGS price guide is 2,400. There's only two in the grade with six higher. Uh, I do believe there's maybe a handful in deep cameo, but not many. Uh, so it tells you just how few exist and this series ever gains in popularity. I could see a coin like this jumping pretty quickly. Uh, clearly in my opinion, very few of these are left raw if they're in this nice a condition. Of course, this has really nice color. Um, trying to get the best comps uh, there aren't many that trade, simply just aren't that many that exist. So I had to go back many years, 2016, uh, there was one that sold for 2300 that had also very nice toning. And then back in 2017, there was one with, or I'm sorry, neither of those were toned, um, but you could see the relative prices. I mean, honestly, the best comp is, is simply where this coin sold for. Um, my estimate is, honestly, it probably will just get a single bid if someone wants to buy it. Um, but I think this is pretty nice. If you paid the uh, single opening bid, that's 1969 bucks, which would be up 18% from January 20, which in my opinion is in line with where the market's at. So I really like this one. It's certainly they're asking a little much, um, but it's really nice. Jump into the second auction, uh, Approved V-Nickel, another undervalued series in my opinion. This is top pop, uh, not including the cameos. I don't believe there's a deep cameo uh, for this year. Uh, very few deep cameos exist for proof e nickels. And this coin is never uh, sold on the auction market. And maybe it's traded, I'm sure it's traded hands privately. The, there's only two in the grade, none finer, and that other one has not traded either. So there really is no fair comparison to go on. The current bid on great collections is 3,300, which uh, it will sell for much higher than that, in my opinion, uh, which would be thirty-seven fifteen with the buyer's premium. Great Collections has a 12.5% buyer's premium, but if you lock in your uh, checking account and do a direct ACH payment, it drops it to 10%. Uh, so any coin I've ever bought in Great Collections, I always do a direct ACH and, and save yourself 2.5% on the buyer's premium. And a 10% buyer's premium is the lowest uh, for all the major auction sites. So I, I was trying to figure out what is a fair value for this. Obviously, the, the price guide at 7500 was probably just their best stab. Um, <clears throat> there's no cameos in the 67 or 67 plus that are a, a reasonable estimate to try and gauge. The 67 CAC that was nicely toned traded for two, I think it was $2,500. And the price guide was four grand. So it traded for just half of the price guy, and that was about a year and a half ago. So I, I, v nickels, given they're not that popular, I don't think this will quite reach the 7,500. I think it'll probably settle in that 55 to 6,500. So if you have the money and, and you like v nickels, this is a super nicely toned one. It has the CAC sticker, which of course is uh, very good when you have a top pop. And uh, if these things gain a popularity, I could see this one gaining a value down the road as well. Jump into a, a different price range. Uh, this one is obviously quite a bit cheaper, um, but I love a good toned Roosevelt dime. And this is actually a proof 68. And the 1952, 
Um, you don't get as many toners in 1952. There weren't that many uh, on the comps, uh, which was surprising. Whereas maybe in the 19, later 1950s, you might get a few more toners. Um, so uh, in a way, this, even though it's 82 in the grade with two higher, uh, there's quite a few less uh, nicely toned proof uh, Roosevelt dimes here. So the only two comps I could pull off that also had really nice toning as a proof 68 uh, was, as you could see, 198 to 215 bucks, which were about three to four years ago. The current bid's only 43 bucks, uh, which would be about 48 with buyer's premium. I could see this maybe reaching 150 at most 300. Uh, so if you prefer the lower price range, this could be a really nice one. And the fact that it comes with the true view, I mean, heck, the, the owner of this coin had to spend roughly uh, $35 uh, just to get it graded with the uh, true view. Next one, a nicely toned Washington quarter. Uh, if you've been following my channel, I've uh, mentioned that these uh, Washington quarters are actually kind of uh, weak in the moment. Uh, the market form is kind of weak. Now this is a really nicely toned one. A huge failure by the owner of this coin not to get a true view. Uh, that's five or ten dollars uh, that they really could have captured a better picture of this. So. I grabbed a screenshot off Great Collections, and it's still extremely nice. See that rainbow-like toning, uh, nothing on the reverse, uh, but this is a beauty, has the CAC sticker. This exact coin did end up selling in January 2017 for about 2468 bucks at Heritage. Uh, there's 16 the grade, none higher. Uh, I could see this population maybe growing uh, by 5 to 10 over the next 5 to 10 years. Uh, maybe there will be a, a 68 that might show up, but I think uh, 2100 is probably a fair price and probably a fairly safe investment um, just to hold on to a coin this nice uh, with that kind of eye appeal. So there were a couple comps that had also really nice toning. Um, the, these without toning sell in the 1000 to 1500 range uh, with really nice toning. Of course, Toning on Washington quarters varies greatly from horrendous to extremely nice. I'd, I'd call this at least an A-grade toning. Uh, the other two that had A-grade toning, in my opinion, as you can see, sold between 2200 and one sold for three grand uh, just this year, actually. Uh, I think it was at Legends. So the current bid on this, 1350 which would be about 1500 with buyer's premium. I could see this finishing around that two grand to 2500 mark. And then lastly is uh, some Morgan dollars, all of them. Now, there's always some nice toning, but I love a uniquely nice uh, Morgan toner. And, and this one was just cool. Um, as you could see, that kind of almost looked like two coins were resting on it uh, while it was in its bag. And then the, the neon-like toning, uh, this is just really awesome. It's a very pedestrian uh, year mint mark and grade. I mean, there's 30,000 with 12,000 higher. The, PCGS price guy is 85 bucks, but uh, the night the super nice toned Morgan market trades for at minimum about 6x price guide up to as high as 20x. Uh, so the current bid at 525, which would be about 590 with buyer's premium, already places it in that kind of 6x uh, range. And I could see this easily getting uh, to 10x, which would get it to about $850. Uh, if not more. So just a really unique toner, uh, one that I like, uh, even though the grade is not that exciting. So if you can, uh, comment below if you like this series. I'm going to probably put it out every week. And again, the links to all these auctions are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Take care.